Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. We got true love to start the whole situation off here. We've got an American convict who's serving 24 years for two murders and three armed robberies. But this American convict has stolen the heart of a British woman. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Uh, (laughs) Naomi Wise, she's 26, and she intends to visit the U.S. later this year because she wants to marry Victor the Animal Okendo. Yeah, there you go. Oh, the animal. Nice. Great nickname. Yeah. What do you do to get the nickname The Animal? Uh, you murder two people and do a bunch of armed robberies. Oh, and yeah, just, so yeah. she wants to marry him. Yeah. Have they met? Uh, they have never, ever met. He's 30, she's 26, and um, he's, uh, I think he's, is he 10 years in? Uh, uh, 10 years into a 24-year sentence. So uh, he went in when he was 20. And, uh, I mean, I've, I see a picture of her. I see a picture of him. I, I, this is, uh, boy, I mean, she looks good in her picture. I like her picture better than his picture. (laughs) Well, I would hope, but you're not, you're not usually into, uh, uh, gang murderers. Well, I mean, he just typically, I mean, you know, there's always, there's always an exception to the rule. (laughs) Yeah. I, uh, and, uh, yeah, I, yay, yay, yay. Uh, well, there you go. Uh, Hey folks, just don't (laughs) There you go. I'm seeing more pictures of her, though. I, now that some other pictures I'm seeing her, she looks a little too fake for me. I think she's oh, had a lot. Yeah, yeah. You think she's had, out of bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's had a lot of work done. She looks like. I uh, yeah. I don't understand that whole. I mean, you never met. He's behind bars, so you're not going to be able to spend much time with this guy. So I don't. I don't uh, get it. She Steve, you don't understand. Him. The, you don't understand the process. Well, how could she fix him if he can't get out of jail? When he gets out of jail, she will fix him, and they will live happily ever after, and she will get a lot of publicity, and I'm guessing she probably has an OnlyFans. Uh, well, maybe hey, she... Send me the link. I will find it. <laughs> Trust I'm me. here to support. She fell in love with his letters. That's probably what it was. Calligraphy. Yeah, she... she they, they say that she says they bonded over uh, tattoos. <laughs> you have tattoos? I've got tattoos. Let's get married. Yeah. Uh, You're known as the animal yeah. that have murdered people? Well, I'm really hot, and I'm on OnlyFans. Let's get married. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she says Victor's the kindest man she's ever met. Okay? Uh, well, Even though she she's cross him. Room. Yeah. Well... <laughs> What does that say about anybody else that she's ever met? If you're like the ex-boyfriend of hers, and she decides to go for a murderer... Yeah. Yeah. You gotta start thinking about how you've been as a person. <laughs> Kind of, yeah. Do a little yeah. uh, audit of your life there. So it's uh, like writeaprisoner.com. That's what yeah, that's Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's how they met. <laughs> and uh, But, you know, they have really cute pet names for each other, so that must be love. She she calls him Noodlehead because of his curly hair, and he calls her Biscuit Head because of her hair color, which oh. I'm sure is 100% real. Biscuit um, Head. Yeah, I know, yeah, she's got, like, flaming red hair. I, I What kind of biscuits are that color? 
a little bit of that jelly biscuit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice effort. I don't understand any of this relationship. Yeah, I, I, I right? couldn't really. I don't. I don't know what's going on here. I um, now I don't know. Is it different because? Look, if you if you go around murdering random people, you know somehow it makes you seem crazier. But you know because of the fact it was gang murders, I mean, you know, does it seem more you know like she can let that go? Because all right, it was somebody who did you wrong, maybe self defense in a certain way. Is that maybe why she can dismiss the fact the guys killed two people? I mean, with you're that, asking me. I don't know. Well, man. you know, we we all know that you uh, you know I mean we we know you used to run in gangs. You know, in Puyallup many, many years ago. No, that was my breakdance troupe. We were not a gang, and we were called oh. Voltron. I understand yeah. by calling us Voltron, that made it sound like we were a gang, but we weren't. We just liked to dance on cardboard. Ah, yeah. oh, that's what it Gosh. is. So, yeah. Did you ever kick anybody in the head accidentally while breakdancing? Uh, possibly, BJ, but oh. I don't need to be interrogated about this. He kicked right. himself in the head, BJ. That was oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Yeah. I was way more flexible in high school, in <laughs> elementary school, so you're absolutely right. Wow. Um, I think, you know, I think Vicky's onto something. It, this has got to be publicity. It has to be. Or she can't be. I mean, she's got to have some friends and family members saying, what are you doing? PJ, you're saying to ask Vicky, but the texters are absolutely right. That's not the female on our show that we should be asking. We should be asking your daughter. That's true. Oh, really? She true. would probably be. Up. Yeah. I mean, of all people, yeah. Sarah is the one that's going to know what's going on. All right. This. We'll get we'll get Sarah in the room here. We'll find out exactly what the heck is going on when it comes to prisoners and uh, action. <laughs> right. um, like one texter says, you need an expert's opinion? You ask Sarah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, uh, Sarah, there is, of course, a, a woman who is going to marry a guy from prison uh, because of the fact that um, it's true love. And we don't understand how it could be. He's murdered two. He's murdered two people. He's robbed people. He's serving uh, 20 years, uh, 26 years in prison. He's only only served 10 of it. And she wants to marry him. You know, the, those bad boys, sometimes those girls love See? the bad boys. Sometimes those girls. Yeah. No, it's not you. No, yeah, never. There, I yeah, look at the picture right of the there. guy. What do you yeah, think? There he is right there, Sarah. I am not going to lie. He is fine. <laughs> there it is. Wow. I there think he is very attractive. Oh, wow. Okay. She well, is, too. Oh, they she's make very, a beautiful couple. Yeah, I mean, this is a Hallmark movie waiting to be written. <laughs> yeah, right? Hallmark yeah. after dark. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know how he's, he's gonna... more lifetime than Hallmark. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how he's going <laughs> to yeah. look after he gets out of jail if he still has quite quite a few years to go. But well, he's got like sixteen more years. Yeah, and, and, and you know who knows? Maybe with good behavior, it's twelve. I have no idea how these things work. Yeah, and then they'll be reunited. Do they still have those conjugal visits? I'm sure they do, especially I mean, if they get married. Yeah, right. Yeah, they've never met Sarah physically. Oh wow, she, she's from England. She just was like doing a writeaprisoner dot com thing, and that's how they met. Bonding over tattoos. She must have a thing for for that. If that's what she's looking for in the beginning, like yeah. he's a real, real bad boy. If he's in prison, all right. So this <laughs> is a real bad boy. <laughs> well, I think the murder yet kind of uh, says that. Yeah. But, all right. Hey. Well, it, it may not be only fans after all, as we got the expert opinion from a prisoner dater. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm on uh, uh, writeaprisoner dot com, and it, you guys want to get a prisoner pen pal? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh yeah. What do I got to do? I don't know. Oh, I even have a little poll that says, will you be willing to meet your pen pal when they are released? Oh, geez. Wow. Oh, well, we, yes. we, we, we know that uh, Naomi is definitely willing to meet. Wow. Oh, well, you know, there's somebody for everybody. <laughs> That's all there is to Steve, how could we not get dates? We're not killing enough people. Were we not killing enough people in our youth? Was that the problem? I, I maybe when I was fifteen, I should have got a neck tattoo and killed a couple of people because yeah. clearly it's working for this guy. <laughs> I was and rejected for so yeah. many reasons. You're not the guy for me. How many times was I told that? Why? I mean, really? I mean, I'm sorry. I, I should go to prison and serve twenty years. Okay, that's what I got to do. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure he's also charming. I mean, I mean, it's probably a little bit more. Than I'm just, sure he's charming. Well, I mean, they do talk. So, I mean, he might have murdered some people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't know how to be a charming man. Oh, there's man. plenty of charming murderers out there. And oh, you can be really point. charming when you take like probably a few days to write a letter. Yeah, you know what I mean. You like can you can, edit. yeah, you can edit it out, erase stuff. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> and then here I am, never been to jail, and still, I yeah, never been to jail. Couldn't get tail. That was the story of my life. Wow. Wow. Huh. Well, all yeah. right. If you want yeah. tail, go to jail, BJ. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I don't know if you want that tail. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, well. this is not working out. No, it really isn't. City folks just don't get it. Yeah, that's the real problem. <laughs> well, uh, here's another question for you. Why would someone literally drive, literally drive through a Taco Bell? 
Well, Steve's going to tell you why. He's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. DJ and Mix mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. $20 million, $19 million, $6 million. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too-big-to-fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com. Wenatchee is gorgeous in the spring with its lush green rolling hills, abundant wildflowers everywhere, and the views of the Columbia River. The local food scene offers an abundant selection of authentic international cuisines featuring the unique farm fresh ingredients of the region. Wenatchee is also home to award-winning wines, handcrafted hard ciders, and a talented handful of local brewers producing fine craft beers. Visit Wenatchee, the heart of Washington State. Spend less time in the laundry room and more time doing the things you love. Introducing the Samsung Smart Top Load Laundry Pair, now available at Lowe's. The washer's large capacity means you can fit more in every load. Plus, its super speed setting washes a full load in only 28 minutes. Shop the smart washer that will streamline laundry day, backed by Lowe's Price Promise. Based on using super speed on a normal cycle with an 8-pound load, terms apply. See Lowe's.com slash price promise for details. U.S. only. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle, an Odyssey station. Hey, you know uh, Radio.com? It is now Odyssey. You know KISW? We are now an Odyssey station. So I think you're hearing that word Odyssey and you're like, wait a second, something's happening. I'll tell you what's happening. Greatness is happening. That's what's happening. I mean, we're part audio, we're part audacious, and we're part Odyssey, BJ. Odyssey. Now, look, if you've already downloaded the Radio.com app on your phone, you'll notice now it's got that bright orange logo. It's now, you know, Odyssey. If you haven't, well, then go download the app, and you're going to get all the audio that matters to you. That's right, man. You can listen to The Rock, listen to all the music, news, sports, podcasts that move you, all from Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y, Odyssey. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. Thanks to Kia Up You All for giving us the Migs Report, and today's a special day. Today, go out and have fun. It's National Fun Day. Yeah. Oh, nice. Whatever that is for you, do it. It's also, maybe you enjoy pizza. Maybe you enjoy a good deep dish pizza because it's also National Deep Dish Pizza Day. Oh, nice. that, that is fun. I know in, I, we have we always whenever we go to Chicago, of course, you got to do what tourists do and get some deep dish pizza. And I've always had a great time eating it, even though I feel like it's not really pizza. It's it's its own entity. <laughs> it's lasagna. Yeah, it's it's nap inducing and it's delicious. <laughs> but what, what, Danny, you're a big pizza connoisseur. Is there sure. a place here in Seattle that you would recommend? I've heard Windy City Pies is fantastic. That's I've, right. They I've, were recently in some kind of drama with some place. Oh, in, were on they? The East Coast or their their sister. Pizza place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it's really good, and that's where everyone always tells me. I'm just not a huge deep dish guy, so I haven't been there personally. But every time they talk Chicago, it's go to Windy City Pie. Boom. Yeah. Enjoy yourself some deep dish Boom. pizza, BJ. Oh, I right, listen. You don't have to tell me twice. Or maybe just enjoy some uh, Taco Bell, like all of us love to do, including some maniac in Maryland that decided, you know what? I'm so mad at the co-workers. He got into it with the co- not co-workers, the workers that talk about it. He doesn't work there. He just wanted to enjoy a delicious chalupa or something. So he got mad at the workers, so mad that he drove his car through the front of the restaurant, not through the drive through where most people would drive their car, but he actually went through the glass and went oh. into the restaurant. Oh. Fortunately, the workers are okay. Some of them were hit, but they're all going to be okay. Nothing life-threatening. But, of course, somebody pulled out their cell phone and recorded the whole thing. And just listen to the crash, man. It sounds gnarly. Whoa! Whoa! Wow! I mean, that's what happens when you don't give somebody their mild sauce packets. <laughs> I, have no idea, I have no idea what led to the argument. I mean, I don't know what argument you can have that would get you so mad that you're like, "I'm going to get in my car, cause damage to my car, and also this restaurant, and eventually I'm going to have to pay for it." Uh, people are losing their ass. 
Yeah, I was at Taco Bell in West Seattle yesterday, and they gave me tons of sauce packets, so I was I was happy. They typically hook it up. Dude, like, yes, and we use them all the time. I wonder if someone ever leaves, like, Taco Bell and then goes to, like, McDonald's if they're like, this is weird, man. I'm just used to just freely giving out all the sauce. Yeah. Because, you know, you only can give out, like, what, one sauce pa- uh, packet for the chicken nuggets mm-hmm. per order. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why. Fast food world problems. <laughs> right. Hey, there's, a, there's a learning curve. There's an adjustment, BJ. Oh, uh, man. All right, what this guy did was wrong. I'm going to preface it with that. But it's also rather impressive. A guy in Florida, he was taken into police custody, and uh, apparently he was able to steal the patrol car that he was put into while his hands were handcuffed behind his back. Wow. How did... How, what? A, I, that's the crazy part. So at some point... They arrest him. They put him in the back of the car. Then there's some kind of an accident that happens, a motorcycle crash. So the, the, the officers pull off to the side of the road to see what's going on with that. So they're thinking, well, we're fine with the guy in the back of the car with his hand handcuffed behind him. But somehow he gets in behind the wheel of the vehicle and drives off. And the only reason why they were able to catch him is that the car ran out of gas. So he wow. drove for a while. Car runs out of gas. He gets out of the car and then runs. This whole time, he's still handcuffed with the handcuffs behind his back. Vicky, that's got to be difficult, right? <laughs> well, we, luckily, we we have a lot of experts on this show when it comes to handcuffs, prison. It's really good. You know, we really have that. We're a ra- well-rounded morning show, yeah. BJ. Even if you're okay. flexible, it's pretty hard. All right. I mean, at that Pardon point, me? what do, you, oh. <laughs> do you then handcuff him by his feet as well? Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah. uh, like hog, hog tie him? Yeah. Hog tie him. Hog tie him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. All right, wow. this is a weird transition to this story, but this is actually the headline. It says a guy making love to himself oh. at a grocery store parking lot said he did it because he didn't want to get caught doing that very thing at home. Oh, all right. oh well, all right. That's reasonable. Yeah, cops show up. Again, happened in Florida. Shocking. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they find a guy who's in his SUV at a Publix grocery store parking lot, which Publix is kind of like just like a QFC or an Albertsons. It's popular in, in Florida. Well, when the cops show up, they're like, okay, dude, well, what are you doing? You're 22 years old. You got your pants around your ankles. Your underwear are also off. You're watching porn on your phone, and you're taking care of business. And this is happening at 7 p.m. Okay. And he says, I went there because I didn't want to get caught doing this at home. I don't know if he's married or in a relationship or he just doesn't have blinds on his windows. I'm not sure what the reason is behind all that, but yes, he was charged with indecent exposure. That's like straight out of that movie Hall Pass with uh, Jason Sudeikis and Owen Wilson where he like he doesn't want to have sex with his wife or he, he the wife doesn't want to have sex with him, so he just goes out to his car. And I forgot that part of the movie, but you're right. Yeah, and the cops come and they're like, what the heck? And they arrest him and he's like, that's why they need a Hall Pass. Oh, wow. So that's right out of that movie? Pretty much, yeah. He didn't go to a Publix, but he just goes out to his car because he's like, might as well. That's the only place I can do it where I'm not going to be interrupted. Yeah, you know, if I, I I can understand that, that the struggle is real. <laughs> but maybe not going to a place where other people are just going to be randomly walking by. True. Yeah, but then again, in your neighborhood, people, I guess if you go in your garage, I guess. The, but then somebody could come to your wife, your family could come out to the garage, too. Parking rides. Can we all agree that's the spot? Oh, parking dear. rides. There we go. That's that's the solution. Sure yeah, it is. Park far in the back corner where no one else is. I yeah. think that's the safest place. Or just don't do it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, big game tonight, boys. I'm not even a huge college basketball fan, but I think all of us got caught up in the excitement that is the NCAA championship as a... Uh, well, on Saturday, uh, Gonzaga just had an incredible game. Some are saying one of the greatest games ever, and they won it in overtime, 93-90. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second, but they are playing for the championship against the Baylor Bears tonight at 620, so I'm sure a lot of people are going to be watching that to see if Gonzaga can finally win themselves a championship. Now, like we were talking about, uh, on Saturday they played UCLA. They beat them 93-90. to I want to play the audio from the radio call. The reason being is that so the game is tied, going to overtime, uh, UCLA ties it with just seconds left in the game. So now it's 90-90. And then Jalen Suggs just nails a three-pointer, wins the game at the buzzer. But the best part about the play-by-play call is that the, the color commentator for the, the radio broadcast is Adam Morrison. You might remember him. He played in the NBA. He was a star player for Gonzaga back in like the mid-2000s and part of that 2006 team that a lot of people thought was going to do really well and ended up being beat by UCLA in the NCAA, NCAA champion or ah, tournament. So, okay. obviously, he's excited to see his, his, his team win, but boy, does he sound really pumped. 
Thing to the right side of the floor, defended by Kispert now. Drives, leans in, the runner comes up short. Juzang though rebounds and puts it in. We're tied at 90. Three seconds left. Here Suggs the other way. Pull up three for the win. Yes! Yes! Set yes! yes! of the championship game. A no from 40 at the buzzer. Yes! The Bulldogs. Wow. Play for a national championship. I mean, Adam Morrison's yeah. wife usually the only one that hears him that excited. So that was kind of a cool <laughs> moment. I don't know if he's married, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to upset him if he's not married or whatever's going on in his world. Listen, um, we're just doing a joke, people, okay? If we can't get all the facts here. Right. I mean, I don't have time to do that kind of research when I first think of these stupid things. BJ, what do you want from me? <laughs> Tonight, the Mariners. Two and one, right? Yeah, yeah, they're doing, doing all right. right. They didn't play yesterday, but they won on Saturday. Playing the White Sox tonight, so we'll see what happens with that. That'll be pretty exciting. I don't know if you were watching any baseball yesterday, BJ, but there was a game between the Rockies and the Dodgers at Coors Field in Denver. And during the game, actually this happened on Friday, and during the game, a cat just randomly starts running on the field. Ran down okay. third baseline. And, of course, the play-by-play announcers, they had to follow the cat's progress. First overall pick for the draft in 2007. Oh my gosh, there's a cat. She headed out to the bullpen to find Tony. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> to take a little nap. Oh, oh my gosh, he's winded. He's looking for an escape route. He's in center field, sprinting into the gap. At the track. At the wall. And captured. Boo! <laughs> I'm not talking about the game either. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's a good thing Randy Johnson wasn't <laughs> pitching in that game. Oh, I'll tell gosh. You that. Oh, yeah, it's a good point. As far as weather, 55 degrees and sunny today. It's going to be a nice day. Thank you to Advanced Hair Restoration for giving us the Marie's report, and that's what's up. That is hysterical. I, we, we, won't, we won't show humans running on the field, but if we got a cat on the field, well, yeah, we're going we're gonna to show that all day long. And it is funny. At one point, the cat just stops, lays there, and it, you can see it just breathing heavy like, whoa. Yeah. This is this is a further a far run. I didn't think I was going to go this far. Yeah, there's a lot of work. It's like, haven't they caught me by now? Wait a second. On Friday, Steve, he did get this one right. Glenn Bell is the founder of what popular fast food restaurant? Taco Bell? Yes. Yes. What year? Really? The, yeah. I never thought of why they named it that. Well, now you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you lost interest in your own <laughs> like you were you were excited for a bit and like, all right I'm done <laughs> oh all right <laughs> you're like all right let's move on all right it's kind of dumb really the guy should come up with a better name <laughs> You want a shot at Biddy CB? You got a 206 421 Rock. Text us. Uh, don't text us. Just call us. Uh, yeah. Meh. We'll pay Biddy Meeks at 647. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I know if bankruptcy is going to provide me with relief? What are the steps for my situation? Uh, there's so much information out there about bankruptcy with the internet and uh, what people have heard from friends and, and other people that they've talked to about their financial issues or, or bankruptcy. Uh, there's there's also a lot of bad information out there or, or urban legends about bankruptcy. In order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you need to talk to an attorney that's experienced in bankruptcy. So in order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you should talk to an experienced bankruptcy attorney and right my job is not to convince you to file bankruptcy my job is to help you to to make that decision and have all the facts uh, so that you can make an informed decision about whether bankruptcy makes sense for you what benefits it's going to have for you and what the downside of filing bankruptcy is thanks travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com